Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about the M Zoico 45mm f1.2 Pro lens from Olympus. Yeah, it's pretty mouthful, but that is its name. So it is equivalent to 90mm in full frame format, and it is the direct competitor against the Noctocron lens for the micro four thirds uh, when it comes to portrait photography in this focal length. The focal length gives a really nice compression for uh, the surrounding area that helps to separate the subject a little bit much better. Um, especially with its 9 dark fine blades that creates a really smooth pleasing bokeh to look at. Olympus has a distinctive type of uh, bokeh that they considered um, the feathered bokeh. It helps to blend the, um, the focus area a little bit more than conventional uh, bokeh and it makes it a little less busy than uh, conventional bokeh. It also is really sharp and um, really nice for the image quality because of its complex um, 14 elements and 11 uh, in uh, 10 groups in its optical design, which is notably one extra low dispersion element, four high refractive uh, index elements, and one a spherical um, element. So they all work together to combat against chromatic aberrations and distortions and it also helps to keep the color true to life. They've also implemented uh, their nano coating Z technology in each of the lens to uh, eliminate the uh, lens flares and ghosting when it comes to backlit situations. And the uh, aperture opening is wide open at f1.2 and can go all the way down to the f-stop of f16 to give you more depth of field. Unlike the Noctocron, this lens is fully weather sealed. So it is splash proof, dust proof and freeze proof down to negative 10 degrees Celsius. It also has a really nice look to it. Very premium built quality for uh, the physical body. It also has a lot of functionalities because the uh, focusing ring is a slide and, a slide and pull um, towards the manual focusing which also comes with a distance scale so you can be more precise in your manual focusing. And the autofocus motor is called I think the MSC so motion and still compatible which is really great for sales photography and videography at the same time. It's pretty, pretty fast for your autofocusing and also really quiet. Um, the filter thread is 62 millimeters and they also include a plastic hood which is in my opinion much better than if it was metallic. You can also reverse the hood so that you can make it more compact whenever you're traveling so that it can be more um, fitting towards your bag for traveling itself. And it only weighs 410 grams. It is pretty hefty for a micro filter system as well, but it is 15 grams less heavy than it is with an Octocron. Plus, there's a function button on the side of the barrel that helps to um, make the functionalities a little bit better because you can customize it the way you want. And it also um, has a close focusing distance of 50 centimeters or 1.64 feet. So all in all, this lens is a great lens to have for your collection. If you have the means to get this lens, I would highly recommend to, to get this lens. It is really sharp all around the uh, f-stops and it is also uh, really nicely built and you can use it in any weather conditions. So you can um, know for a fact that it is really a robust lens that you can have as a really nice workhorse lens. So, since I've already talked about both the um, Mzoico 45mm f1.2 Pro lens and the Noxicron, in my next video I'm going to be comparing both of them to know exactly what the similarities are for the specs and also what the key differences are to know exactly which lens is the best for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.